Hello everybody, I'm Nostorm here, and welcome back to Final Fantasy XIV Online. In the last episode, we ran the optional dungeon, the Sunken Temple of Karn, and then we delivered... Oh. We delivered the body of Naraxia, the Sylph, back to the Sylphs, uh, and we then came back to the church here in Thanalan to figure out what we're going to do, and... Um, Elfino showed up and revealed that Marcus, uh, the guy we've been working with a little bit here, is actually none other than Sid Garland, the premier engineer in all of Eorzea, and that he is in possession of an airship. Or at least used to be in possession of an airship, that we are going to need to access the lair of the primal Garuda that has been summoned by the Ixal. So... Uh, we are going to go ahead and uh, investigate more of that. So, let's go ahead and talk to I Iliad here. Uh, he who waited behind is what we're doing. Alright, what a curious twist of fate. The Master Sid Garland would at last be found within our church. Defies imagination. Beg your pardon, Yame. Do you wish to find his airship? Oh, you wish to find his airship, yes? I do not know much true or how much truth there is to it but there is a tale known as the final flight of the enterprise which grew popular in the wake of the calamity much like the great gubu wall of olda it states that enterprise flew northwest from gradania toward kirthus if true the airship would have passed through the north shroud likely over fulgord float the closest settlement to kirthus Mayhap the serpents stationed there have records of the events that transpired that day. I had hoped you might rest from your journeys for a time, but I see that the world still has need of you and the scions. Pray look after yourself and Sid, Ayame. So yes, Sid's airship is named the Enterprise. Alright, so we need to head over to Fulgord Float and uh, see if they have any records of any sightings of Sid's airship during the events of the Calamity. So, let's go ahead and teleport out there. No more free teleport tickets. So actually, I mean to take care of one thing after we teleport through. All right, enabled my reduced rates action. Okay. So let's go ahead and talk to the Serpents. Which their headquarters in this area is in here. Ethelmare. Oh, yeah, Ethelmare. Is there aught I can assist you with, miss? The Enterprise? You speak of Master Garland's ship, yes? I needn't refer to the records. I know that... The airship was sighted overhead five years ago, clearly bound for Kurthus. What became of it after that, I cannot say. If you wish to know more, pray speak with Vortifor. Vortifo? Something like that. At Florentinal's Spire. He was on duty that day and saw it with his own eyes. I am unsure what it is you hope to accomplish, though. Even should you locate the ship, would you not need a man of Master Garland's caliber to fly it? I hear tell that the machinery is fiendishly complex. Well, it just so happened we have one Master Garland available. Once he, you know, remembers what he's supposed to do. Alright, so, let's head over here. Here's the spire. And there's a fate. Is it a fate we are interested in? Not really. Alright. You have come in search of Vortifo. Then well met, for you have found him. Indeed, I have served as a whaler for many years, since before the great snows came to Kurthus. What exactly is this about? 
Ah, the final flight of the Enterprise. I do indeed remember that day. All right, what can you tell us about it? "'Twas on the eve of the Battle of Cartano, nigh on five years ago. I held the spire alone that night, while the bulk of our forces marched to meet the enemy in the field. Then all of a sudden, the most fantastic airship I'd ever seen splits the sky overhead. I could only watch in shock as it disappeared over the mountains to the northwest. If the Enterprise wasn't destroyed during the Calamity, I'd wager it's still somewhere in Kirthus. The astrologians at the Observatorium may have records which could help. But to obtain them, you would need to deal with the Ishgarden, Ishgardians who control the region. I wouldn't expect much, though. The High Houses have long been concerned with their own affairs above all else. When Dalamud descended, they took shelter behind their gates, and even now they have little regard for the plights of other nations. Nevertheless, they may deign to assist you should you prove yourself useful. Consider proving your services to the soldiers who guard the observatorium. Although they may refuse you at first, I have little doubt they would accept aid freely offered. All right, so we are heading to the observatorium in Kurthus, which is a place we haven't been to before. And here is the access to the Kurthus Central Highlands. It's all snowy here. All right, the observatorium is over here. The first, what's it called? The first dicasterial observatorium of ethereal and astrological phenomena. But what we may actually do is head up here to Camp Dragonhead first to get ourselves attuned to an Aetherite in the region because there is not an Aetherite at the Observatorium. So I think that's what we're going to go ahead and do right now. We are almost level 38. So I have to decide if I want to do the side quests here or not. What are we looking at? Level 36. Level 36. We may actually go ahead and do that. Do some of the side quests in this area. For a moment there, I forgot what I was doing here. Alright, we are attuned to the Aetherite. So I'm going to ride back to the observatorium, and then we'll start working on side quests there. Level 37, a fool and his life are soon parted. Okay. Yeah, we've got some stuff out here we can do. We've been skipping the side quests up to this point, but I think I'll go ahead and just kind of settle in in this zone and do that, because uh, some of the side story may be useful in the future especially since um, the entire heavensward expansion has to deal with the Asgardians uh, learning a little bit more about them now may be a good idea Uh, 
I'll need to talk to the chocobo keep. All right. Louvois? Excuse me, can you repeat that? You wish to offer your services to House Durandere? And what, pray tell, do you wish to receive in exchange? <laughs> How absurd! As if we would permit an outsider to peruse the records of the observatorium. Do not mistake our courtesy for friendliness. The Holy See of Ishgard may allow foreigners to travel freely within these lands, but we do not intend to offer succor to strangers. Really now. Uh, Sir Ludovois is doing his utmost to intimidate you into leaving. Okay. Hello and have mercy. Are you still here? You may take shelter within our walls if you insist, but do not distract me while I'm on duty. We're stretched thin as it is. And where in the hells is that knight I sent out on patrol? He should have returned ages ago. Hmm. Perhaps I have a use for you after all. If you still wish to aid us, search the wilds to the west for my missing man. You will know him by his uniform. That of House Durandere is mine. Oh, as is mine. Alright, so we'll work on that. Let's go ahead and... We're not worrying about the, le the uh, lev quests. Let me just hit the chocobo keep as usual, just to get his marker off my map. And we're going to talk to Divakarwa? Alright. Help me. For the Ruth of Halone, help me. My caravan, all are slain. Something huge and savage lunged out of the storm. The screams, I... You've got to go and kill the swiven thing. Kill it as it did my traveling companions. As long as that monster's out there, every one of our arses will be hanging out in the wind. Look sharp, eh, adventurer. As adept as you are with your steel, whatever it was, it seemed to be everywhere at once. Red murder wreathed in white storm. So where exactly is this other quest giver? Not in here. Ah, uh, there you are. Moss Mokalin? Oh, he's got two of them. Speak softly to me. I need to talk to you, adventurer. I was down in the snow house, keeping out of the wind, when I heard whispers. I swear to the lives of my chocobos. I couldn't see anyone in there, but I'm sure I heard something. Go and see who twas, else I don't know how I'll sleep tonight. Alright. And... Ooh, look at the throw emote. I can't see as how I ought to care, but I saw a fella out throwing snowballs at a snowman. Why anyone engage in such japery in the cold, I can't rightly say. Went nut gathering and lost more than you found, is my guess. You better make sure that don't happen to you, lass. Not that I know precisely what happened, mind you. What's that? Me? Ask? I've got my chocobos to see, too. Duvacarwas wants to upend his head soup in the snow. I can't see what business of mine it be. Yep, that's his name. Duvacarwa. I don't know. He sells things. Goes places. Don't seem like no kind of life to me, begging pardon. You want to see him? I reckon he's somewhere about. Did we just talk to him? I think we did. All right, what's this about throwing snowballs? Walking softly, eh, adventurer? Those around here think I'm winter drunk. I'll wager. I've never seen a snow toss before, the lazy bye blows. Sit on your arse in front of a poor fire too long, and soon you got the swivin' white knuckles. You'll sleep the better for tossing snowballs. 
without needing Lady Mead or Mistress Ale to sing the lullaby. What do you say? Why don't I give it a try? It's as simple as you'd imagine. Just reach down, grab some of the powdery white, and throw. Uh... Do I act? Can I actually do that? Hold on, social. Can't remember. Um, emotes. Throw. Yep. I can throw snowballs. Can I throw snowballs at anybody? Yep. I can throw snowballs at anybody. As long as I'm standing on snow. Right. Well, I gotta find a player. Alright, well, let's examine the snowman. Hello, I are snowman. Man of snow. Dripping we is. Our hold on life slipping. Sad I... Uh, Sad I are, so many dreams we had. Rally my spirits, won't you? Air the finale. Okay. So you want to rally, huh? Uh, where? There it is. Oh, I... Bye-bye, cruel world. Love is a lie and adventurers soon die. Okay. I'll soothe the snowman. Another one of these weird emote quests. Willing I are to take a, the top building, a battery of gallantry from the artillery of flattery. Cheer us until dry are the tears. Okay. Uh, it's probably easier to just type it in. <laughs> yeah. Like me, do you really like me? Do you really twice does lightning strike? Kiss me, friend. If us, you'll miss. Throw it though. Not nice to smooch on snow. Okay. Blow kiss. Okay. Actually had to have that targeted. Hold on. There we go. Farewell, adventurer. So many troubles you quell. Peace we is at. Drunk we have life to the lees. Bye bye world. All that lives must someday die. Uh. Uh. Goodbye. Must someday die, okay. That was strange. Okay. Let's report back to this guy. Did you find out who was talking? I can see from your aspect you did. A snowman, you don't say. And speaking in rude posy? I see now. Someone's having a bit of fun with the both of us. Likely some youngins. <laughs> now rest easy now. I can tell you that. Alright. Fine. Hey, level 38. Actually. Action learned Storm's Path. Ooh. Hold on. Uh, Storm's Path, what does it do? Delivers an attack with a potency of 100, combo action off of MAME. So off of MAME. Well, then I may actually want to move that. I may actually want to move that to position 
eight. All right, combo potency to 80, so it hits a lot harder. Let's see, how much does Butcher's Block do? 300. Absorbs a portion of damage dealt as HP, so I... Recovers my HP. Defiance combo bonus increases Beast Gauge by 20. Butcher's Block increases by 10. Maim increase Beast Gauge by 10. Skull Sunder by 10. So 10, 10. 10, 20. So this is increases the gauge by 30. This increases the Beast Gauge by 20. But it does more damage. Heavy Swing. See, it's 210 and 300. This is 200 and 280. But this absorbs some health. The inner beast also absorbs some health. Okay. All right, let's talk to this guy again with the unpronounceable name. All right, you learned the motion. How about we have ourselves some fun with it, huh? Reach on down into the powder and throw a goodly sized lump at me, hard as you can. But make sure you take aim first, much as I get a good laugh out of it. I doubt Drivido here would ha fancy a face full of snow. All right then. I threw some at you before, but I'll go ahead and do it now. Oof. Oh, you got an arm to write songs about. But that felt good, eh? Ah, cold hands, warm heart. That's the secret to long living. Really, there ain't much more to it. Just throw where there's snow underfoot. Of course, if you try to do the same to other kinds of ground, you'll end up with a fistful of nothing. And where's the gain in that? Anyhow... What I like to do is toss snowballs at snowmen. That way you can hurl them as hard as you fancy. Snowmen don't mind. They're made of the same stuff, eh? Go on and give it a go. Try throwing at the snowman right outside. Oh. Thrust Davis. Got ourselves a fate. The Dravanian Horde launched a brutal assault at the Observatorium just as their astrologians began moving this moon's astroscope logs to the lower library. The Avengers are needed to fend off the attack while protecting the scattered logs from Thrustavis' all-consuming flames. Alright, there they are. Hi guys. The fact of the matter is, they're in my way, so they're gonna die. Um, though it looks like this is actually gonna take a little while. So what I might go ahead and do here is pause the recording while I kill these things. Because it's just gonna be me killing stuff. So there's gonna be plenty of that. So yeah, I'll go ahead and uh, pause it here and then we'll jump to when it's complete. Alright, there we are. Success. 
Okay, so. We need to uh, throw a snowball at the snowman. Alra is throwing? Should I eat? Maybe I eat. No, I know eat dummy dummy. Dummy dummy throw like a zero. Only become yummy yummy if throw like hero. Okay. I don't know what's going on with the snowman here. Aim is yummy yummy. Still much to fear though. Hero not there. Throw him here again. <laughs> Finally a throw of a hero, all yummy, no? There's snow on my boots, I happy now. Snow tossed, hero made, I tired, need to sleep. Don't worry what they say, they call you crazy. Revolutionaries always get called crazy. Uh, I think I might be going crazy. Right, there you are. You're at it a while. Nothing like a little hoar frost in the nose, Harry. Eh? Stoneman talked, you say? Don't see how. I rolled the thing myself, and it wasn't like I engaged a uh, swivin' white mage. Now, you go lie down a spell, and don't go saying nothing to them inside. They'll figure you a winter drunk for sure. They might even put you in for leeching. Oh, for a leeching. Come by for the snow toss when you're feeling less fanciful. This damn winter can't last forever, but if it does, maybe I'll start a snow toss tourney. See if I can make a gill or two. Alright. Actually, I just remembered. 38, I have a new set of gear that I actually... Uh, had made for me. Alright, just a second. I'm going to pause the recording and uh, get my new gear set up. All right, there we are, new gear set. It doesn't look much different, but it is the horn scale male as opposed to the steel scale male. So, a bit better. And some of the coloring is different, and I dyed it red again. All right, so I guess we're gonna head over here and do the White Mischief quest. Lurk near the bloodstained snow and slay the unknown terror. Stained snow. Let's see what this is. The White Death. Really? It's a squirrel. <laughs> Is that same crazy dude. Alright, so, uh. Head back here. And hopefully, this doesn't involve any more talking snowmen. Killed by this wee thing? 
Uh, I took the span of its leap for the span of a giant's limbs. A corrupt little rotter, killing far more than it could hope to eat. Where's the gain in that? Well, I'm obliged to you. You get to know them who travel the trade routes with you. Good men they were, every last one. Maybe not that tall fellow from Gredania. We could have spared him easy. And I'm glad to have settled the hash of that murdering pocket fiend. I'll take the silver pieces. Alright. And now we've unlocked a whole bunch of side quests. Level 38. 37 in camp on Dragonhead there. Might be worth a go. Alright. Prairie Low? Prairie Low? Prairie Low. Something. Alright. Uh, it galls me to ask for the help of an adventurer, yet I cannot leave the fort. Not now, damn it. You are eager to do us service. Is that not right, adventurer? There is some urgent need for firewood, and you would gain much by assisting us. The air around Skyfire Locks never lacks for firewood. Collect eight bundles and deliver them to Stefano on the East Hill. Gather bundles of firewood from round sky fire locks. We can do that while we move towards the other quest. All right, somebody in here. Yep. Sir Sylvain Dill. A man may die of want in a fort as well as a hovel, and Sylvain Till is in need of an adept hunter to help victual the locks. The common folk of Ishgard know how to seek shelter in Skyfire locks whenever the dragons attack in force. Each stronghold must be victualed with these extra mouths in mind. We help to secure meat and sheepskin from the caracols that roam the snowy plains. These stockpiles will mean the difference between life and death for the helpless folk under our protection. When the sheep are skinned and dressed, make your deliveries to the strongholds and watchtowers. Every morsel and every shield against the cold counts, no matter how small. Feral Croc, huh? Well, it's like we're gonna have to kill it. So there's what two more pieces of firewood around that we need. Now, where could that last one be? Should be somewhere within the circle. Highland Gubu. It's 
Gotta be up there. No, I was up there. to do Hold on, let me just check back here there it is jeez all right Oh, and it actually gets delivered here. To Stefano. Took your time, you sniveling wayface. Firewood? Who told you to bring firewood, whelp? What happened to the fresh supplies from Camp Dragonhead? And stand up straight when I address you. Um, I'm not one of your soldiers, dude. Hey, I mistook you for another. I sent out a recruit some time ago to take delivery of relief supplies. You came all this way to bring more fuel? I bid you thanks. There's no comfort we seek. You understand, but life. The cold is too relentless to go long without fire. I give thanks for your service, but Kurth, this is no place for those who lack discipline and faith. You will perish, and in so doing, may happen danger the crusade. Quest do you have now? Stefano has no love for adventurers, but he but beggars cannot be choosers and your help is urgently needed. He should be back by now, even if he had to wait out the worst of this storm. Couldn't he have wandered into the north road? That way Rome feral crocs. Um adventurer, I sent a runner to Camp Dragonhead, but he is many hours overdue. I fear he lost his way. Green recruit that he is, I would prevail upon you to fetch him back. All right. So, what are we going to actually do first? And actually, where is that missing knight? There. But I think we'll just keep working our way toward Dragonhead. Alright, we'll be doing which one? I'd rather be cannon fodder. Follow the recruit's trail. Magic Blade. Fell Croc. Deliver the ring to Stefano. Alright, I guess we'll head back.
Ah, adventurer, where is the Tom fool? If he's lost something to frostbite, he has none to blame but himself. Um, he may have been eaten. This is the boy's ring? What is the meaning of this? A failed croc? Are you certain? He could simply have dropped it. I'll not stand for surmise when the boy's honor... What? Yes, he had ginger hair. Oh, for the Ruth of Halone. He was a good lad, a fire to take his place in a war against the dragons. To die so ignominiously instead, I cannot tell his sire. And to lie to a fellow knight about his own son is more than I can tease out right now. Alright, now what you have for me to do? I miss luck adventures, as well you know, but that wretched death on the north road binds us together. It is the will of fury. After much reflection, I have decided to send you to Camp Dragonhead with the ring for Theobalan, the boy's father. It ill becomes the knight to prevaricate, but I have added the boy's name to the patrol that was lost to dragons. You must tell Theobalan that his son died gloriously in battle. Let his name not stand in shame. He deserved better. Alright then... I think we're probably going to go ahead and end the episode here. We're going to continue working on side quests in the Camp Dragonhead area. There's a bunch in the camp itself. Uh, before continuing on with the main story. And so we'll work on that next episode. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Go ahead and like, subscribe, and comment. And I will see you next time.